Hello, my amazing tribe. I'm excited to connect with you through this video. Hello, dear viewers. Get ready to expand your horizons as we delve into Lord's Grobit. Lord's Grobit Argel's 25 July 1940 15 July 2022 was a Mexican contemporary photographer known for her photographs of Mexican Lucha Libre wrestlers. Grobit spent some time as a painter before focusing on photography. Her photography led her to explore Lucha Libre, and she spent a lot of time getting to know the Lucha Doors wrestlers. Grobit did some theatre and video, and published several books. Grobit's work has been the subject of numerous exhibitions, and she received many grants and awards for her work. Let's now shift gears and explore early life through a critical lens, uncovering its strengths and weaknesses. Grobit was born in Mexico City, where she grew up with her parents. Grobit took a formal painting class at the Academy of San Carlos. Her parents did not like the views of the school and sent her to work under a Catholic professor named Jose Suez Olvera, who painted murals for the Church of San Francisco. She did not care for his work much because she felt it lacked originality. Grobit asked herself what art is, looking around, and after asking myself the inevitable questions about what art is, it became clear that for me it was a language, a way of saying things, and so I had to find the best way of saying them. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at education. Grobit studied plastic arts at the Universidad Iberoamericana in Mexico and graphic design and photography in Britain at the Cardiff College of Art and Derby College for Higher Education. She was very moved by her professor Matthias Goritz, from whom she learned that mass media showed a new way of expression. When Goritz gave up teaching, he asked Grobit to be his assistant while he worked on stained glass windows for the Mexico City Cathedral. She studied in England in 1977 and did a few landscape paintings. She ended up failing, however, because the photography faculty did not like that she altered the landscape and strayed away from keeping it purely documentary. In this section, we'll be deep diving into career, unraveling its complexities and uncovering valuable insights. Katie Horner introduced Grobit to the world of photography, though the main influences in her early career were Matthias Goritz, Gilberto Aceves Navarro, El Santo and others. Grobit studied as a painter in Mexico for some time and then took a trip to Paris in 1968. It changed her life and the way that she viewed the art world. While she was in Paris, Grobit visited many art galleries and discovered kinetic art because of this. She liked working with multimedia. She spent some time working at a jazz concert, controlling lighting and kinetic projections. When Grobit returned to Mexico, she decided that she wanted to focus on photography. After she got back home, she decided to burn all of her old work and start over. In 1981 Grobit released her first set of photographs. At the beginning of her career in photography, she was part of a group called Consejo Mexicano de Fotógrafo Mexican Council of Photography, formed by Pedro Maya in 1977. With her participation in this group, she was able to revitalize photography in Mexico, which led to a movement called the Grupos. Grobit was focused on establishing a community-based perspective. Grobit spent some time with indigenous people during a time of great struggle for them. She took the time to learn more about them and photograph them in a theatrical way. She wanted to relate to indigenous people using her artistic initiative, so they made costumes and scenery of their own and she then took their photos. Later on, Grobit took interest in the Mayan culture. Wanting to learn more about the Mayans, she went to the suburbs. While this was not a common thing to do, she wanted to steer clear of any tourists. She wanted to get accurate information about the people she documented and explore an area less travelled. She discovered temples that were made by an unknown civilization and she decided they were to be called the Olmeistic. After her education and her travels, Grobit came back to Mexico City. She once again started to explore her childhood interest of luchadors. She found that there was very little information pertaining to the Luchadors, and so she decided that she wanted to make them more known to the world. 
Grobit spent 30 years devoted to taking pictures of the Luchadors and studying their way of life. She spent time photographing Lucha Libra wrestlers inside and outside of the ring, both in their masks, but also in their own homes. Grobit wanted to show that they lived normal lives, just like everyone else. She got very close with well-known Lucha Libra wrestlers such as El Santo, Blue Demon, Mel Mascaras, Sagrada, Octagon, Mission Rose de la Mert, Los Paros del Mal, and Los Brosas. Influenced greatly by Matthias Goritz, the Polish sculptor from Dask, and by Dilberto Aceves Navarro, a Mexican master of art murals, who were her teachers, Grobit worked on pictures of El Santo, one of the most important Mexican wrestlers, and a hero of Lucha Libra who starred in more than 50 films. Since 1975, she has published more than photographs of the sport, including those on the sport in the United States since the Urs, and as an important part of Mexican popular culture, adopting a sociological attitude. The sport involves many costumes and masks, leading it to a sport carnival air which is much appreciated by Mexicans. She also ventured into cinema. In her 2013 movie Bearing, Balance and Resistance, Grobit questions the political separation between the Big Diamond Island Russia and the Little Diamond Island USA in the Bering Strait, a border between the United States and Russia, showing the consequences of the separation between both islands. After the American-Soviet conflict of the 21st century, the Brinia region was divided in two, which caused the separation of complete Nanook families and also, paradoxically, separated the place where the first human beings that populated the American continent crossed. Grobit has had over 100 exhibitions of her photographs, both group and solo exhibitions. She had her work exhibited at the London Mexfest Festival in 2012. She won an award at the Second Beenal in Fine Art Photography. In 1975, for the exhibition Horowai Media, she transformed a gallery into a photographic laboratory. She developed the photographs, but without fixing them, and displayed them on three walls. While the public looked at the photographs, the lights from the gallery made it look like they disappeared. In 1977, Grobit presented Travelling, an exhibition of photography on an escalator. Among her other works were Pacives Pintados, Tetro Campesino, Strip Tees. With our foundation established, it's time to explore personal life and its relevance to our overarching theme. Grobit married Xavier Perez Barber in 1962 and they had four children together. They divorced in 1974. Let's now shift gears and explore death through a critical lens, uncovering its strengths and weaknesses. Grobit died on 15 July 2022 in Mexico City. Let's now shift our focus to work and process and explore the ways in which it shapes our perspective. As Grobit was taking her photographs, she desired to understand reality better. According to Grobit, and as noted in her 2005 book Lords Grobit, she has used this photographic experience as an inductive process in order to understand or live reality or realities rather than illustrate certain preconceived ideas. She is not scared to employ different sometimes contradictory languages available to her to speak of her particular experience and standpoint, thus sacrificing formal purism. In her own way, Grobit manages to use photography to relate to herself, to relate to us and to take action in the problematic reality that is Mexico. Some of Grobit's work was collaborative, while others she liked to do on her own time. When photographing the luchadors she wanted to show their tough side, but she also wanted to show their fragile side as well. Grobit wanted to uncover the roots of the Lucha Libre. She wanted to show that the Lucha Libre is important to the culture of Mexico, with links back to the time of the Aztecs. Grobit found that there was not much information about these fascinating luchadors. She wanted the luchadors to get the recognition they deserve as some of Mexico's important cultural figures. In this part of the video, we'll be delving deeper into awards and analyzing its key components. 1982 Photographic Beenal Award, Mexico 1984, 
Libro Propositivo Award, Mexico 1988, Best Monument Award for Commemoration of 20th Anniversary of Tlatelcomasica, with the group Proceso Pentagono, Mexico 1988, Best Book Award, Juan Pablo's Editions, Mexico 1992, International Award, Latin American Emancipation and Identity, Contest, Quito, Ecuador 1995-1998 Sistema Nacional de Credos de Art SNCA Grant, Secretariat of Culture, Mexico 1996, Banff Center for Arts and Creativity Residency, Canada 1999-2001, SNCA Grant, Secretariat of Culture, Mexico 2001, Edo Residency, United States 2002, the Gowell Residency, United States 2003, Belgio Residency, Italy 2005-2006, FONC A Grant, Mexico 2007, the Gowell Residency, United States 2010-2011, FONC A Grant, Mexico. Let's now turn our gaze towards solo exhibitions and explore the fascinating connections it has to offer. Year location venue title notes RAF 1970 Mexico City, Mexico Gulro Misrachi Sandapiti 1974 Cosa del Logo Alomesa 1975 Hora Waimia 1977 Derby, England Travelling Exhibition Derby Mexico City 1977-1991 Pesage Pintados 1980-1982-1985-1990 1991 Lucha Libre Mexico City Chicago Havana Amsterdam 1983 Mexico City Mexico Muso Anniversario del Chopo 53 Quadras 1988 Cafla Gloria Los Mantels de Septiembre 1990 Gelardi Gallery Neo Olmeistic 1992 De Cucuquista Habamos Mexico City Quito 1995 Afoot Germany Domstara en la Cultura Mexicana 1996 Banff Canada Banff Center for the Arts Pop Mass and Subculture Mexico City Mexico Centro de la Imagen La Filomena 1997 Oaxaca City Mexico Centro Fotografico Alvarez Brobatriz Cadiz 2000 Mexico City Mexico ex Teresa Prometo Unisex Video Installation Tawana Mexico Tawana Cultural Center Lucha Libre 2005 Alicante Spain Alicante University Passage Pintados New York City United States of America Black Party Bruce Silverstein Gallery Gods Grobit Retrospective 2006 Mexico City Mexico 3 Subway Stations Lucha Libre 2007 Madrid Spain Photo Espaya 2008 Paris France Must Do Cade Brownie Upside Down Less Articles Mexico City Mexico Mexican Social Security Institute La Mono Negra 2009 Muso Archivo de la Fotografía Equilibrium and Resistance 2010 Dura Metropolitana Kuala Lumpur Malaysian National Museum of Art Espectacula de Lucha Libre 2012 Miz France Naples Center Dart et de Fotografía El Nuevo Hombre de Bering 2013 Miami United States of America Mexican Consulate Wrestling 2015 Barcelona Spain Center de Cultura Contemporanea de Barcelona As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of theater, film, and video and examine its core elements. Year Location Venue Type Title Notes Ref 1978 1992 Theatre Theatre Collaborations with Sosoma Alexander 1983 1984 Mexico City Mexico Casa del Logo Performance de Mugo Amuja 1986-2001 Mexico Photographs for Tetro Campesino e Indigena Theatre Group 1990 Great Britain Film Lecture Liver BBC London 1992 France Interview 1995-2000 Mexico Videos for Tetro Campesino e Indigena Theatre Group 1996 Mexico City Mexico Centro de la Imagen Las Wifa 2000 Extasa Art Actual Prometheus Unisex 2000-2009 Mexico City, Mexico Muso, Archivo de la Fotografía Frontier Paris, France Must Do K Brownie Prometheus Unisex 2001 Brazil Video Benal Video Frontier 2002 New York City, United States of America 36 New York Expo Film and Video 2003 Mexico City, 
Mexico Museo de Art Moderno as is 2005 Alicante, Spain University of Alicante Grobit which project 2006 Mexico City, Mexico Labolos Online 2008-2009 Museo Archivo de la Fotografía Fluxus Paris, France Mas Duque Brani 2009-2010 Mexico City Mexico Museo Archivo de la Fotografía Interactive Images of Brin Strait 2010 Mexico on Human Scale Work of Sculptor Helen Iskbego 2011 Hear the Silence 2012 Niz France Naples Center Dart et de Photographie The New Man of Bering 2013 Bering Strait Documentary Equilibrium and Resistance Now let's shift our attention to collections Brooklyn Museum, Brooklyn, United States of America Fundacine Cultural Televisa, Mexico Centro de la Imagen, Mexico City, Mexico Harry Ransom Center, University of Texas at Austin, Austin, United States of America Must Duque Branley, Paris, France The Museum of Fine Arts, Houston, United States of America San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, San Francisco, United States of America Museum of Latin American Art, Long Beach, USA. Get ready for an enlightening exploration as we dig into publications and understand its role in the broader context. 1982, Sayascog El Tiempo, Los Talas, Mexico City. 1984, Lucho Nag is a published collection of loose photographs. ENAP Mexico City. 1987, Bodas de Sangre. Tabasco County Government. 1996, Santo Ysia de los Recintos Históricos de la Universidad de Mexico. 2005, Lords Grobit. Turner Publications, Spain. 2005, Lucha Libra, Masked Superstars of Mexican Wrestling. 2007, Retratus de Familia, Revit Editors, Mexico, Spain. 2008, Espectacular de Lucha Libra, Trills Editions, Mexico City. 2008, Lucha Libra Mexicana with Gabriel Rodriguez. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more valuable content.